Well, how about that? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Auto Garage. Today, we're going to be looking at a very special Honda in Gran Turismo Sport. Now, this Honda is very, very special. It captures the imagination of thousands of children all across the globe every single day. And that Honda, well, this isn't even it. We got to go pick it up. So, we're going to go to Brand Central. We're going to go to Asia, Asia Pacific. Not specific. Specifically Pacific. And Japan, obviously, because Japanese cars are the best. Honda. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, Michael, we're going to get the top of the line Honda. What is that going to be? Well, that, of course is the Honda that any of us could go buy today the one the only Honda Fit Hybrid and I know what you're thinking whoa but Michael that car isn't a sports car that's not a good car okay well it has the Honda badge on it so obviously it's a sports car obviously it's gonna be a great car it has VTEC okay so all his arguments are really crap. 138 horsepower. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, that's not that much power. It weighs 2,300 pounds. Okay. The power to weight ratio on this is better than a Bugatti Chiron. A single gap, anything at the drag strip. This car is perfect. Look at the hatch. Look how much room you could fit in the back of this thing. All right, look, I, I can't even, I'm not even going to try to defend this car. If you think this car is a piece of crap, you're clearly, something's clearly wrong with you. We're going to have to send you to the ranch, but we're going to pick it up. I'm pretty sure the Honda Fit Type R is coming out soon. We're going to get it in red because red's going to make it go faster. And yeah, let's take this to the track. Listen to that baby putter. As you can see, we're at Dragon Tail Seaside. We got our Fit Hybrid 2014. And this will be our main competition. BRZ Mini Cooper. Don't know what this is. We don't have that in the States. We're going to go to the car settings. And you know, we're going to tweak it a little bit. We're going to tune it up. Like I said, that horsepower, I'm not going to lie. It's not that much. We're going to bump it up to an absolute spitting 226 horsepower. The weight reduction is fine. It weighs 2,300 pounds. That's nothing. We're going to put some racing super soft tires on it. And I don't think we need to mess with it anymore. I mean, other than a little bit more power and some tires, this car came about damn near perfect from the factory. You know? I love it. Let's go, let's go gap some Mustangs with this thing. It could. God, this car's absolutely gorgeous. Honda Fit Baby. Yeah, this is pretty JDM. Right hand drive. Gotta love it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, you're really not going that fast. Well, it's because the power band isn't in VTEC right now. VTEC is not kicked in. So, uh, I'm kind of running at a little bit of a disadvantage right here. But, right when that VTAC kicks in, phew, rocket ship, baby. Absolute rocket ship. You can go to the grocery store, pick up eight bags of dog food, and then go gap. Go gap these FRSs. It ain't nothing. I think Honda's the only brand that really does it all. They're affordable like this fit all they all they make is sports cars all they make is sports cars they can do they can do everything you could rally with this thing off-road in this thing the Honda fit is the answer to everything Miata MR2 Mini Cooper whatever the hell this thing is what the hell is that Honda fit will got them all Oop. uh as you can see, it's so fast, I can't even handle the power. 
A Honda Fit can solve any problem. My buddy got his Silverado 2500 HD stuck in a ditch. I said, hey dad, go get me the keys to the Fit. We're going to tow him out. Soon enough, he was back on the road. All thanks to the Honda Fit. Triple digits. Triple digits. And I guarantee I'm getting about 45 miles to the gallon right now. That's really how it be. That's really how it be. Yeah, I dream of a world where every citizen is given a Honda Fit. That would be a utopia. I can picture it right now. You're going down the Autobahn in your plebeian BMW M3. And then in the left lane, screaming past you, goes a Honda Fit doing Mach 3. First place, baby. First place, baby. Let's go. Alright, and I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, that was on asphalt, though. I mean, that's easy. Any car on an asphalt track, especially in this game, you can get first place easy. Alright, fine, fine. That was a little bit easy. The Honda Fit made it easy, not me, but... We're going to take this car somewhere where it ideally shouldn't be. We're going to take this thing on dirt. Just to prove... Hard fit can go anywhere. And do anything. Oh my god, what is this? I can smell the marijuana burning from here. Hippie ass fan. But it's good, we got a Honda Fit. We're screaming. Look, look at that gap. Look at this thing handle. Oh my god, you can drift it. You can drift the Honda Fit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You can drift this thing. Why are drift teams picking up 240SXs, Mustangs? Why, why, why are they picking those up? Well, they can just pick up a fit. Look at this thing. Oops. This thing gets sideways. This thing wants to be sideways. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know why all drift teams don't strap onto this. They'd smoke the competition for a tenth of the price. Watch this, watch. Oh my gosh. I love Honda Fit. Look at this. I'm Lightning McQueen out here, or whatever. The Honda Fit can achieve that airtime because it is, in fact, so light. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking Michael, how is the Honda Fit so light? Well, a lot of cars, ooh, uh, the Honda Fit can be so incredibly light because while a lot of cars make their frame out of material such as aluminum, I think steel is by far the most common one, well, the Honda Fit just uses plastic. I know what you're going to say. Wow, plastic, that's a cheap, crummy material. Well, it really isn't. Honda invented what they call plastic dip. It's like plastic, but Honda made it. And their frame is entirely plastic dip. And it, it not only cuts the weight of the Honda Fit in half of what it would have been with the steel frame, it also doesn't rust, because it's plastic. I love the Honda Fit. If I was going to smuggle people across the border, I'd use the Honda Fit. Because with its hatchback design, you could fit at least 10 or 11 people in here. And you think a border agent's going to suspect a Honda Fit of any wrongdoing? No, because all Honda Fit drivers are the absolute height of humanity. Well, how about that? Well, thank you guys so much for making it to the end somehow of this god-awful video. I hope you learned something important, because I didn't. Have a good day, be nice to your parents, subscribe, leave a like, and please, please do not buy a Honda Fit. This was a very informative video.
Have a nice night.